How's it going, folks? This is Antoine with Core Cutter Lifestyle and Tech, and today we're going to be talking about the new channels that Pluto TV has added, and also some other things related to the uh, Viacom deal. And as always, folks, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button um, as I continue to dish out more core cutting content. You know, um, this is just interesting to me uh, as far as the Pluto TV and the Viacom deal. Um, Pluto TV is a great platform. I always said that since since day one. Started off talking about Pluto TV back in 2018. So first thing we're gonna do is just take a look at the list of channels that Pluto TV has added. So as you can see right here, we have the uh, movie channel. Then you have MTV Pluto TV version. MTV's Guide Code, MTV Teen, Dating, and you know, the list goes on. Um, so we're going to go over here and go to the Pluto TV website and just go ahead and take a look at the content. If you're not uh, familiar with Pluto TV, they have an on demand section and they have a live TV section. Now, the live TV section has always been around, but you know, it was Pluto TV's brand of live TV. You know, it was very similar to what you would get with a, a a major company you know so say for example you have MTV Pluto TV had its own style of MTV um, Comedy Central Pluto TV had its own brand of stand-up comedy you know shows and you know specials and things like that so the Viacom deal just kinda threw me back because I mean Pluto T I like the content that Pluto TV had you know, and for Viacom, you know, when Viacom, when big companies come in, of course, that means they're going to want money from us, from the viewers. So, so as you can see, you will get shows like Rob Dyrdek's Fantasy Factory, which is a great show. I, I, I think Rob Dyrdek kept MTV afloat, you know, for all them years. You know, one of the couple of top rated shows, Robin Big, Fantasy Factory. You know, just going down, you got Reno 911, um, Treehouse Masters, you have BT, Pluto TV, Confessions of a Call Girl, Call Girl CMT Westerns, um, and then you have Nick, you have Nick Jr., Dora the Explorer, Are You Afraid, you know, and the list goes on. Unfortunately, we can't see what's going on in the future, but one thing I do want to do is go over here and go over to Viacom. So Viacom is a publicly traded company. Uh, worth billions and they also own other uh, media platforms you see right here the sub subsidiaries uh, VidCon Bellator MMA and uh, you know I'm, I'm going over this just to take a look at what possibilities you know viewers would have if the service was to become a pay service so Bellator MMA I mean one of the top mixed martial arts brands out there you know uh first mma and you have uh, of course pluto tv is new awesomeness tv vidcon and uh paramount is a big one because paramount makes a lot of good movies but before we go over to paramount we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, the television networks that viacom has so of course bet comedy central mtv vh1 you know um MTV and VH1 were in decline, you know, for years and years and years. But, you know, they managed to stay, stay afloat. But, um, and I guess in 2019, they they really making a comeback. But you see you got TV Land, which is a very popular network. And then they got some record labels and uh, Paramount. So let's go over to Paramount. So I want to take a look at the movie because I, I like movies. And uh, just take a look at uh, movies that Paramount or Viacom has been um, involved in, whether it's on the production side or, you know, either way they're getting points on the movie so they would have uh, some rights to the content, right? So what I want to do is I want to go up here and, you know, just go to the, um, the 2010s, Shutter Island, you know, just going down, Iron Man 2, um, just going down here, going down the list. I mean, Footloose, Paranormal Activity, Puss in Boots. I mean, huge movies 
the Titanic 3D to dictate. I mean, just, you know, you just go down to going up and all the way 2018, Annihilation, which I believe they sold the rights to that to Netflix, um, Wonder Park, Pet Cemetery, which was a, a good movie. So look at the upcoming films, Rocket Man. You know, um, Gemini Man. I know you guys, you follow Will Smith. You've seen he uh, premiered the trailer on his channel. Um, I mean, the list goes on. So Paramount actually, we get rug rats. So, I mean, Mission Impossible 8. So the list goes on. Obviously, these companies have been around. You know, I've seen Viacom. I know you guys heard of Viacom, you know, while you're watching their movies, Paramount. So, I mean, and, and the big question is, because um, I was on the fence when I heard about this. I'm like, oh, no, nah, you know, they can't do this. They can't, you know, just turn around and just start, you know, take a free platform. Because, you know, Sony Crackle has been free for a long time, and they have a big name like Sony behind them. Yeah, you know, I, I believe they sold them off, but it's still free. They managed to survive uh, probably over a decade without charging for any content you know and they also have good content so but you know i just want to get you guys thoughts on this um it, is pluto tv something that you would consider paying for because i'm looking at it like this viacom is a media company um they already have rights to films and they're lending them rights out to other streaming platforms so they are already getting money. They coming in here swooping up on, on you know, a free platform and then they're gonna start charging for it, you know, to add and add content that um uh, is available other places. I don't know, you know, I'm just kinda on the fence with it right now. I just wanna see how well let me get off of it. How they uh, which way they gonna go, like how much they gonna charge? You know, Disney Disney came out, their price is at six bucks, you know. Well that was the price point they said was gonna be six bucks. And uh which is a great price because Disney has a lot of great content, you know. Pluto T V if they charge, you know, three to five bucks, I mean, I guess that's manageable. But, you know, I I'm at the I'm at a point where I can always go back. I I have my antenna set up so and you you know PBS has great content so but this is the the Disney Plus Wikipedia. Guys go ahead and check them out but you know just let me know what you guys think about uh, Pluto TV charging or possibly charging for content even if it's a tier based system where uh, people who pay get access to more content. You know, I wouldn't mind that if they did not strip content from the free viewers. Just keep the ads on there and, you know, let us watch watch some content. You know, what would, e what would be even great or more great is if they, you know, just say, hey, all right, either you pay for it or you watch ads and all the content was fr available to everyone. You know, that would be great, you know, say, for example, they put Shutter Island on there, which is a big movie, obviously, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, and just say, okay, you could, like, you know, just pay for it or watch it with ads, like what apps do, you know, I bought a couple apps, you know, they free with ads, or you could just pay a dollar for them, or a couple dollars for them, and not get any ads, so, that is it, folks, um, come back tomorrow for core cutting after dark i'm gonna be talking about some more stuff some more stuff's been in the news remember to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i will talk to you guys next time